Hello and welcome to the Brick Freak today with the review of Super 18K Shelby GT500 or out of their technician series here model number K135. The bag. We have a sticker sheet I haven't applied because I will sell it and so the new owner. It's mostly some uh, uh, air intakes and outtakes on, and two black ones here I believe. Yes, here over the hood that we don't need. We have 14 building steps and the instructions are pretty clear to 99%. Two times, three times you have to look a little bit closer where to put on the things and Mold King has normal instructions here Super 18K uses desaturated so all the old build, all the old parts are desaturated and only the new parts are colored so it's easy easy to build why have I mentioned Mold King because Super 18K uses Mold King parts so we have the same quality we have no problems here at all. We have the small actuators, they don't make problems. The big ones make problems for Mold King. If you push them too far out, they are gone. With the small ones, this doesn't happen. And Mold King knew, or Gobricks knew, that the, the long excavators are not good, they are changing it. But here, piece wise, no problem. The only thing that's piece wise not so good, and from the quality and from the look, are the rims. The rims, I don't know, they, they feel a little bit cheap, they, they are not perfectly molded and yes, <laughs> they are golden and <laughs> perhaps most of you knew I'm not a fan of gold and especially when it comes to cars. And so there are two or three links in the description, one goes to the shop where you can buy this from New World of Building Blocks and if you go there and search for rims you find some cool uh, rims for 1 to 8 uh, car like these here in chrome, in black, in matte black, in silver red or rose gold and, and just have a look. Just search for rims on New World of Building Blocks and if you order the, the set there, order for new rims. The, the tires are okay, but the rims, they are ugly. Okay, the rest, really great quality, like we know from Mold King. So you will surely want to know how big this thing here is. It's around 56, 57 between centimeters in length. Oh. We have around 16 centimeters in height. I believe in the German version I had 17 because the, the roof wasn't connected <laughs> totally. So 16. And from mirror to mirror we are 29. And we are 27 or 26 and a half from rim, rim to rim. Okay. Um, you can buy the set here with power functions or without. I bought it without because I think the 1x8 cars are too heavy for power functions. So mostly I buy them meanwhile without power functions. But I've seen in the instructions are for both and pretty clear for, uh, when you use what you use for power and functions and without power functions. Um, but I, when I correct all the three L motors here are sitting on the back axle and pushing the back axle. So perhaps this car is a little bit of agile um, and not so slow than the others. Um, I believe you can buy Lightning 2 and so you have four motors, the, 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 the battery box and light cable if you want it. So this version has it not. But we have some functions. We can open the doors they are very stable doors, but they are a little bit flattering here, not much, and you pu can push in too close, so there is no stoppage for them, but they are really solid, really solid build, massive solid build. We can change a little bit the height of the seats or the position of the seats, and like you see it, there is a snake, like here on the front grill, on each seat there is a snake. There should be one here, but I couldn't attach this because 
Perhaps there's a mistake in the instructions or I'm too stupid, I don't know. But there are enough um, snakes in it. We have two other functions I'll show you in a second. When you buy this, uh, when you, when you uh, assemble this, right from building step 2 or 3 you are missing parts. And I haven't seen that there is a special bag for all the missing parts. Watch closely. Inside your box somewhere is this bag. So you have no problem with spare parts. I had everything alright. In the beginning of the assembly video <laughs> I'm moaning but I found it later. Okay, we can open the hood here. I have brought in here a pin. It's not necessary, but for me with the pin the hood closes and I have no gap. Without the pin I have a 3 mm gap and I don't like it. So inside here is a, a, v10, uh, a V8 and it's nicely made. If you want to see more watch the assembly video. And it's connected to the rear axle. And it's made with a chain, not all with, uh, with gears, it's made with a chain. So it's nice, uh, yes, it's working. It's working. We have two functions we have to turn manually. First is here, we can open the hood. But this doesn't work very... You hear this? That's of the angle how you see it opens slowly. It works, but it makes a lot of noise and it's not it's not smooth, but it works. But when we are honest, how often after assembling the set will you open this? Perhaps three times, four times at least to show it to your colleagues or friends and then you won't open it again. Next is here, pushing it here, I believe, yes. And here, am I going in the right direction? No, wrong direction. Oh. You see the spoiler here? It moves a little bit up. So I believe we are close to the limit. Yes, we are close to the limit. So you see a different line and here now I can put my finger in and now we turn it back. It needs some time, but older people like me, we have it. So for all that are curious how old I am, 49. So I lost this here, but I don't know where it was. It doesn't matter, it comes in here. Okay, you see we have a lot of space between rims and the mud guards or the fender, but when it's down it's absolutely all right. Oh, so I forgot, this is a stolen mock and um, you've seen on the info card and there are links in the description to Replicable to HL2, I believe is his name, where you can see the incredible, incredible uh, instructions. I forgot in the beginning, normally I tell it, this thing here is one of the best cars I have ever assembled. It makes so much fun. It is such a clever build. Everything is secured, no fancy techniques, no nothing to bend, nothing to with small pieces. That's a really one of the best 1x8 cars I have ever assembled. It makes so much fun. I think it looks cool. I think it has a really cool look, especially the front and the back. 
But what makes this car one of the best 1x80s? The pure fun you have during assembly. It's really well designed. HL2, magnificent work. Magnificent work. Okay, I believe I'm through. You know how, how long it is. Ah, the uh, steering works inside here. And this is the angle. Mostly we can go. We have no, no hand of God steering here because it was designed as a power function car. The, the link to Replicable, there you see, uh, this is the light version. He made a light version and a, a non-light version. And in the non-light version uh, we can adjust uh, the height uh, of the suspension and everything. But this is the light version. Okay. I believe I have said everything. I showed you the features. You've seen the pictures in the beginning, the car porn. And yes, so I think I'm really done with that. My final thoughts, two thumbs up. Absolutely great. If you, if you like what you see, if you like the design of the car and consider to buy it, buy it. It's really worth it. It's really worth it. Because the quality is good, the instructions are okay, and the building techniques and everything is so well thought, clever designed. It was, it was a pure pleasure to assemble this thing here. Okay, and sometimes with the one by eight car, I want to smash them while assembling. Here, I was smiling the whole time while assembling. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions, write it in the comments. Next is the Razor Crest from Mold King. There are two assembly videos and a review, and then I have a excavation, wheel excavation, uh, uh, like the the four or five year old from Lego and now from Mold King, and a bucket wheel excavator, I believe, or a wheel bucket, bucket wheel, I don't know, I believe bucket wheel excavator, and a bus, yes, a bus from a new company I haven't seen before, so. I believe I make the up uh, after the, the Razor Crest because I'm half through with the Razor Crest. After the Razor Crest, I will make the bus before the Mold King excavator because we all have seen the excavator and we know a lot about Mold King. But the new company, we are always interested, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, thank you for watching. I am Frank Hubrick Krieg. Have a good time and I catch you in the next one.